The same for the battery when inside the water. We notice that those screws, sorry, they are torques, but they need to be torques with the hole because this one they have a pin inside. If not, you're not gonna remove it. I'm gonna show you later. I don't know if it's possible to see it now. There is a pin inside. So with the regular Torx, well, unless you break that pin off, it's not a big deal. Probably. But I have the tools, so. On the top, one here, and you see they are closed. This kind of caps. Let's see if I can take that light off. Sometimes they go too easy, sometimes they never go. Okay, finally made it. See, it's a cap like that. Not easy to remove. Not easy. I use the small screwdriver. Anyways, we made it. Now we have the last screw. And then we can open, we are gonna dry, and we're gonna check it out also. How is it? Well, I just made it to dry a little bit. Let's see if we can still use it or we broke it. Huh, it's pretty good actually. Yeah, there is a little bit of water, I would say. But As how the battery is, it's pretty neat. <clears throat> it's all incorporated. Just want to open to make sure that we just rinse, we just dry all over the battery because those batteries are very delicate if they get sucked with the water. Look at that. See that? It's not bad. Let's try everything. Then we try it again. Okay, so the battery is pretty dry. <laughs> Under the Florida sun for an hour. It's pretty cool. So we can put it back. It's pretty tight. Now, with the sun, should be expanded a little bit, but no. Actually, those you can't remove it. <laughs> See now? I don't know if this this way or this way. Yeah, it's that way. That's why it was not going in. Now we can put these guys back. Like this right there.
that's it. When something is hard to push, sometimes it's because it's going in the wrong direction. Sometimes. Okay, battery done, recovered.